Welcome. Before we begin our regularly ex expected seasonal music for today, the continuation of our series of Epiphany music, we would like to start with a patriotic selection. As many of you know, for my day job for 40 years, I was a history teacher. This week uh, is, the, is the inauguration week, the celebration of a new president. I don't want to get into political things, um, but uh, it's a celebration of our country, the greatest country in the world. Into this country, uh, all four of my grandparents immigrated to and for all the possibilities that awaited for them here in America. Perhaps your parents or grandparents moved to here for the same reasons. While I uh, might not look like it, I'm a very patriotic person. With that being the case, I've asked Paul to play an organ piece called Meditation and Variation on America, written by Janet Linker of Columbus, Ohio. The words of this piece is number 965 in our hymnal, written by Charles Brooks. Brooks. The words are, God bless our native land, <coughs> firm may she ever stand through storm and night, wind wild, tempest rave, ruler of wind and wave, do thou our country save by thy great might. Following this, we'll get into our, into our epiphany of music for this week. Our first Epiphany Caroler hymn today is a variation on the first Epiphany hymn in our hymnal, number 394, Songs of Thankfulness and Praise. The familiar text is written by Christopher Wordsworth, who has four hymn texts in our hymnal, including O Day of Rest and Gladness. This particular hymn text, number 394, is matched to the tune St. George's Windsor. This tune was written by George Elvey. He was a 19th century church musician who worked for his entire career as the organist and choir director at St. George's Chapel, which is part of the famous Windsor Castle in England. This is exceedingly lovely chapel dating from the 14th century and was started by King Henry III. There have been piles of famous funerals and weddings there, including the wedding of Prince Henry Harry and uh, Meghan Markle were married three years ago. The arrangement I will be playing is by James Engel, who was born in 1925. He grew up in Milwaukee, was a graduate of Concordia Teachers College in River Forest, and spent most of his career in and around Milwaukee and or Martin Luther College in New Elm, New Elm Minnesota. The short and joyful arrangement is in 6-8 time, in contrast to the original stately hymn 
which is in 4-4 time. It's just a short and very joyful piece. Our next selection today is a less frequently sung hymn, number 404, Jesus Once with Sinners Numbered. This hymn text was written by the Reverend Stephen Starkey, who was born in 1955 and has written around 175 hymn texts, of which 30 are in our hymnal. That's a lot, but they are all excellent, excellent contemporary and easy to understand hymns. Each also has a lovely melody. The tune for this hymn, named Mississippi, was written by William Roberts. This very singable tune by Dr. Roberts uh, is in our hymnal twice. Over the years, Dr. Roberts had a number of significant positions as music director, including St. John's Episcopal Church in Lafayette Square in Washington, D.C., directly across the street from the White House. He was born in Mississippi in 1947, and thus the name of the tune. The arrangement I will be playing is by Walter Pels. Dr. Pels was born in Chicago in 1926. As a youth, he studied organ at the American Conservatory of Music in Chicago, and then went on to earn his master's, his bachelor's degree from Concordia Teachers College in River Forest. He spent most of his career teaching organ and church music at Bethany College in Lindsburg, Lindsborg, Kansas. I will be playing one of his many compositions. Uh, I will be playing one of his many compositions for organ. playing the next three selections. The first one is an arrangement of hymn number 409, Hail, O Source of Every Blessing, by Carl Schock. 
The text of this hymn was written in around 1806 by Basil Wood, who lived from 1760 to 1831 in England. He was trained at Oxford University. Then he became a teacher and an Episcopal priest, serving many congregations in the British villages. The tune, O Dirk Bier Cheer, uh, comes from a hymnal printed in Halle, Germany in 1704. The second selection Paul will be playing is hymn number 402, The Only Son from Heaven, a frequently sang, sung hymn here at St. John's. The text was written by Elizabeth Cruciger. Mrs. Cruciger had a very short life. She lived from 1500 to 1535. She was in Martin Luther's inner circle of friends and the wife of a professor of theology at Wittenberg University. The text and tune are both quite popular. When one has a popular tune, at least to church musicians, the, t the tune has been arranged over the years by many different composers. Last week, you heard an arrangement of this tune by Johann Walther. This week, you will hear, uh, hear, about, uh, hear a tune more complex arranged uh, by the same tune, uh, of the same tune by Johann Sebastian Bach in a collection called Das Orgelbuchlein. So first, we're going to hear Hail, O Source of Every Blessing, and then secondly, O the, o the Only Son of God from Heaven. <laughs> hymn tunes that we are using each week during this Epiphany series has been the tune, O Morning Star, How Fair and Bright. It is such a grand tune, loved by all and sung well by congregations, including ours. 
Scores of composers have set this tune to music. This week you're going to hear two arrangements of this piece, the first by Georg Philippe Telemann, played by Paul Frazee. <laughs> And then we'll have a second arrangement of the same tune. This time the setting is by Stephen uh, Wente, who was the university organist, department chair for various times, and teacher at Concordia University for 34 years. He is semi-retired as of last month. Previous to his teaching at Concordia, he taught at St. Philip Lutheran School in Chicago for nine years. Over the years, Dr. Wente has played scores of organ concerts conducted numerous church music workshops, and has even played for a worship service or two or three or four here at St. John's. Dr. Wente's arrangement of this tune uh, is, a, is just a joy to play. The melody is hopefully distinct, but it moves around a lot. The accompaniment changes from my right hand to my left hand. The piece is different, a bit dissonant, very syncopated, and very joyful. O morning star, how fair and bright. <laughs>
next place will be three short variations on hymn number 401, From God the Father, Virgin Born. These three short arrangements are a bit of dissonance. They were written by David Schrack, who was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1947. He's a graduate of Valparaiso University, and for years he has been the organist choir master at First Lutheran Church in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> confession to make. I left home this morning without my music, so it's great to have a colleague like Paul Frazee that I can borrow pieces from. Many organists own the same collections of music, and all of mine are sitting at home on my desk. The next piece I was going to play is by Michael Burkhart, and it's an arrangement of hymn number 411, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light. This is one of my all-time favorite pieces, and you're going to have to wait until next week to hear it. It's a grand and wonderful piece by Kathleen Thomerson. Last week, Paul played a version of this by John Banke, but this week was going to be by Michael Burkhart. Next, Paul will finish our program today with two pieces, uh, an arrangement of the famous Epiphany hymn text, As With Gladness, Men of Old, this arrangement was written by Henry Marksworth, who died in 1953. He was a director of music and organist for many years at Trinity Lutheran Church in Cleveland, Ohio. Then, Paul's final piece will be a splendid arrangement by Bach of the chorale hymn tune, O Hail This Brightest Day of Day. This is taken from the Orgel Buchlein. This German hymn carol whose original name is Der Tag der ist so freundlich, is an early 15th century translation of a carol that probably dated from the 14th century. It is found in many versions with many varying numbers of stanzas. The form translated here, along with the melody, is a four stanza from four stanzas by Joseph King's collection of 1535 in a Wittenberg hymnal. The tune is reminiscent of a number of late Renaissance Christian hymn carols or hymns. This hymn has multiple stanzas, uh, as many hymns in the old days did. The accompanying music is filled with the spirit of the opening lines of the hymn. Uh, here are the opening lines of this hymn. O hail this brightest day of days, all good Christian people, for Christ has come upon our ways, Ring it from the steeple. Paul will demonstrate this joyous uh, motif uh, that prevails the entire selection uninterruptedly before he starts to play this piece. But first he's going to play, as with gladness, men of old.
melody, which is in longer notes. part, which is not really exciting, but it for, provides a foundation. Then we come to the inner part played by the left hand, which is the lively part of the composition. Thank you for viewing and listening to our program today. We hope you've enjoyed hearing the selections and some of the stories that go along with these frequently sung Epiphany carols or hymns. Thank you to my colleagues, organist Paul Frazee and videographer Rick Schultz for making this program possible. Next week, we will do a few more uh, versions of Epiphany carols and we'll include a couple of Transfiguration hymns because Transfiguration is coming. We hope you have a blessed week. Continue to pray for our church, our school, our state, and our nation. If you have any ideas about hymns that you would like to hear, or composers that you would like to hear, or poems that have been turned into hymns, please contact me. It's easy to contact me. Send me an email at brune.saint.johns at gmail.com or call me at 630-707-7655. If I don't answer, you can leave a message. This past week, we heard from a viewer in Florida who watches on YouTube. Blessings on your week. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>